Well, I don't know how much of a rescue it really is going to be because you look at the conditions and the measures that the government is going to take. Uh, you're talking about, all, they're talking, the cabinet is already talking about um, $20 billion so over the next four years in budget cuts. That would be, you know, relatively economy. That would be like the United States cutting a trillion uh, dollars of spending, more than a trillion dollars of spending. So we're talking about uh, really uh, making the economy worse. That's the real problem. They're going to make the economy worse and hope that uh, exports will pull them out of it, which isn't really a great prospect because their major export markets are the Eurozone, the UK, and the United States, which are all pretty weak right now. Ireland's banks uh, were facing a, a heck of a lot of trouble. What other options did Ireland have? Well, there are always options. You know, this is the thing I think that is, is really wrong, the belief that they have to take these kinds of conditions. You know, this happened in Argentina for four years. They tried this, what the IMF calls an internal devaluation, where you shrink the economy so much that wages fall enough so that the uh, you, the economy can become more internationally competitive, that's a theory, and uh, recover through exports. And it didn't work, you know, they had a terrible recession. And finally, uh, they defaulted and, uh, and they let the exchange rate go. Uh, and they did quite well. The economy shrank for one quarter and they grew for the next, uh, you know, 63% over the next uh, six years. And here, Ireland has already lost you know, uh, per capita income is down 20%. This is a huge loss. This is more probably than they would have lost if they had uh, exited from the euro, for example. Um, to those not familiar with the, the ins and outs of, uh, of bailouts, um, briefly if you can, um, $124 billion sounds like a heck of a lot of money, doesn't it? Well, it is, but the, the problem is that, that that's not going to be used to stimulate the economy. They're doing the opposite, of, for example, of what we even did here in the United States. That's why we didn't have losses anywhere near what the Irish have faced and are continuing to face with unemployment having tripled uh, and, uh, you know, no really end in sight to this.